what does it really cost to plant an acre of Clearfield sunflowers? Well, let's take a look and find out. A reminder, this is my personal experience with the process. It's not to say this is the only way or the exact right way, but this is a process that has worked for me in the past that I'm just wanting to share with you guys to hope help you budget for your dove field. What does it cost to plant an acre of Clearfield sunflowers? Well, like a lot of things, it depends. It depends on the resources available to you, uh, the types of equipment you have, the types of herbicide you choose to use, application rates, fertilizing rates. All that goes into what this actually costs. Today, we're not going to really look at the big picture stuff like tractors and land and things of that nature. We're going to look at the specifics of the sunflowers themselves, the seed, the equipment uh, implements that we're using, uh, fertilizing rates, herbicide, uh, the different herbicide applications and how that cost affects this process. So we're going to dive into more of the specific details to growing the sunflowers themselves. So let's take a look at it. For this cost analysis, we're going to break it into three separate parts. The herbicide usage, the mechanical equipment, and then the seed and fertilizer. A lot of what we're discussing in this video would dramatically change if we were using a drill or a precision planter. We don't have that resource available to us. So what we're discussing today is for a disc harrowing style planting of the sunflowers. Part one, we're going to look at herbicides and the associated cost. So you've got the initial burn down where you're using glyphosate. This is where we're burning down the entire field, getting rid of all the spring and fall weeds. Then you've got the pre-emergent application where we're spraying our metal lacklor and our carpentrazone and sulfentrazone pre-emergence. And then we've got our post-emergent herbicide application where we can use amazomox and clethodim. And the clear fields allow you the use of more varieties of post-emergent herbicides. For the initial burn down, we're using glyphosate with a built-in surfactant. The label rate is two quarts per acre for a pre-plant burn down for sunflowers. The price of glyphosate has doubled this year. So at $135 per jug, the math comes out to exactly $27 per acre. For pre-emergence, I use two different products, Metalaclor and Spartan Charge, which is Carpentrazone and Sulfentrazone. There's a variety of other pre-emergence you can use, like Trifluralin, Pendimethylum, for the last couple of years, these two have worked pretty effectively for me and have worked within my budget. The label rate for metalaclor varies a little depending on your soil type and organic content, but the max label rate for one acre is two pints per acre. I've not been able to find metalaclor in anything but a two and a half gallon jug, which is $172 per container. So the math on that comes out to about $17 per acre. Here's where the cost per ounce starts going up. Spartan Charge, thankfully, is available in a quart size container, which is great because we're only using eight ounces per acre. So doing the math at $117 per quart, it comes out to about $29 per acre. For post-emergent herbicide application in clear field sunflowers only, we use Amazomox, Clethodim, and a non-ionic nitrogen-based surfactant. Mazamox is sold in a quart-sized container, which is great because we're only using four ounces per acre. Doing the math, that comes out to right at $12 per acre. I pulled the application rates for both the Amazomox and the nitrogen surfactant from the Beyond Herbicide label. That label recommends one quart of surfactant per 100 gallon solution. And I know it takes me about 50 gallons to spray one acre with my current setup. So that would be one pint per acre. And that's only going to cost about $3 when you do the math. Pretty minimal cost overall, but considering you have to spend $60 on a two and a half gallon container, you certainly want to budget that in. You may be wondering why I keep showing the IMOX herbicide, but yet I'm referencing the Beyond herbicide label. Well, Beyond herbicide is extremely expensive. And IMOX is an aquatic version of a Mazamox that is sold in a quart sized container, but the active ingredient and the percent active ingredient is the exact same in both the Beyond herbicide, which is for the clear field production, 
and the IMOX aquatic herbicide. Now this is an off-label use, so you would not be able to do this commercially, but for a dove field or hobby farm type application, this would be a much more cost-effective alternative to buying a gallon of the Beyond herbicide. The last herbicide we use is Clethodim. Common name is Grass Out, but Clethodim is a grass-specific herbicide that is labeled for post-emergent spraying over sunflowers. It's not going to kill any broadleafs, but it's pretty effective on the grasses. The max label rate is 16 ounces per acre. It's sold in quart containers, so half of a quart being a pint is about $25 per acre. We add it all up and it's gonna cost you $113 per acre. Well, you can't just buy the amount of product you need for one acre. You have to buy the entire container, whether it be a two and a half gallon, one gallon, or quart size container. I hope you're sitting down because to do that, it's going to cost you $629 plus tax and shipping depending on where you purchase the product from. It is worth noting that if stored properly, most of these chemicals are going to last you a couple years with the exception of the grass out. That would only be enough for two years of application. Moving on to part two, we're going to talk about the mechanical equipment involved in planting sunflowers. Really the sky's the limit here. Uh, we're not going to talk specifics of the tractors themselves, but rather just a couple of the basic implements that you do need to plant the sunflowers. Everything we're discussing revolves around the use of a disc harrow. We do not have a drill or planter, but of course if you had a drill or a single two or three row planter, then most all of these implements would not be necessary with the exception of a sprayer. For our particular application, there's four things we need. Something that can cut the dirt initially, something that can spread the seed and fertilizer, something that can put dirt back on top of the seed, and then a sprayer to help control the weeds. We used to do this entire process with just a bush hog and a disc harrow. We didn't have a cultipacker, we didn't use a tiller, and we didn't have a PTO spreader. We used a bag spreader. I'd say at a minimum you can expect to pay between $1,000 and $2,000 to buy the equipment needed to cut the dirt, help control the weeds, and spread the seed and fertilizer. Part 3, we're discussing the specific cost associated with the seed and fertilizer necessary to plant one acre of sunflowers using the disc harrow, not a precision planter. The reason I make that distinction is because a precision planter uses significantly less seed because germination is almost 100%. Whereas I've found in my last five to six years of doing this, we only get about 80% germination at most, if not actually closer to 60-70%, depending on the various different years. That combined with heavy deer predation requires us to plant at three times the rate for drilling. This is our second year using a clear field hybrid sunflower. Last year we used Gynagro. This year we're using Eagle Seed but both are ultimately the same seed and same product with the same seed treatment coating that allows for post-emergent herbicide use of the Amazomox. Depending on where you purchase your clear-filled sunflowers, the price can vary slightly, but in general you can expect to pay between $10 to $12 per pound. Thankfully they come in 5, 10, 25, and 50 pound bags, which is great because if you're only planting one acre of sunflowers, you don't have to purchase a 50 pound bag. The seeding rate when drilling is about four to five pounds per acre. Well, because we have reduced germination and heavy deer predation, I seed three times the label rate when using the disc harrow. So we put 15 pounds on our back one acre field. Do the math, and that's between $150 to $180 to plant one acre of sunflowers. I pulled a lot of the information for the Clearfield sunflowers from the Eagle Brand Seed website. Not sure who this guy is, but he loves his clear-filled sunflowers. So let's talk about the fertilizing rates that are recommended. I shoot to get 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre when planting sunflowers. To achieve that, I use six 50-pound bags of 3700. That gives me a little over 100 pounds of nitrogen. When we soil tested years ago, we found that all the spots we sampled were very high in phosphorus. So we don't use any phosphorus in the fields. I probably am due for another soil test to determine my potassium rate, but for right now, we are just strictly going with high nitrogen when growing our sunflowers. 
Like glyphosate, the price of fertilizer has really jumped up. Last year I was paying about $18 per 50 pound bag. This year I had to pay $26, so an increase of $8 per bag. Do the math, and six bags at $26 a bag is about $160 for the fertilizer needed to adequately feed an acre of sunflowers. So the total cost for the seed and fertilizer necessary to plant one acre of sunflowers the way we do it is $310. So the total cost for the initial purchase of all the herbicide you'll need plus the seed and fertilizer needed for one year for one acre of sunflowers comes out to a total of $939. Keep in mind that after the initial herbicide purchase, you'll be able to use many of those products for two or three years to come. So the cost per year will go down significantly after that initial purchase. Really appreciate you guys following along. I'm going to wrap this video up just showing some of our older photos from how we used to plant sunflowers and sorghum and Japanese millet out here. A lot of it was done by bush hog, by bag spreader, and uh, we even did a run at Egyptian wheat, which did not turn out well. It was way too much biomass versus the actual seed production, and the dove simply couldn't get to the ground. So thanks for watching. Enjoy a couple historical pictures, and we'll catch you on the next one. <music>